Hello everyone, welcome back to On today's podcast, we have a special guest with us today. I'm sure you've all heard of him. His name is Snoop Dogg. Hello, Literature with Chefs. It's Snoop Dogg, and this is an honor to be on your podcast. Well, it's actually an honor to have you here, Snoop Dogg. What is the question that you've been wanting to ask me? Hello, Chelsea. I'm wondering why this poem in Milk and Honey belongs in a literary canon. Well, Snoop Dogg, that is actually a great question. This poem has a deeper meaning when you read it. All it tells us about is the absence a child feels when their father or mother is an alcoholic. But this can contain a deeper meaning to us when we look into articles and such. A child of an alcoholic can lead to the child growing up in their parents' footsteps, later causing this child to replicate the same actions that they had dealt with from their parents when they were younger. This can cause a never-ending cycle with their children, and then their children's children as well. Then you found all this information from this poem. Tell me more. Yeah, it's quite crazy that the more you look into the poem, the more you find. I also analyzed that the child in the home is more likely to develop depression symptoms as they are not being taken care of by their parents in a way that a parent really should care for their child. Rather, these children might get neglected and or ignored. This later can cause them to feel mistreated and really alone. It's really sad how people can allow their drinking to get that bad. I know, I really agree. But parent, uh, but alcohol takes over the person's body to the point sometimes they might not be able to control their own actions. This further concludes my reasoning that alcohol has been a problem with us for years and years. Back in 1919, the National Prohibition Ban happened in hopes alcohol would no longer be around. Take that ban back then. Well, they created the ban because one person would usually drink seven gallons of liquor per year, and that honestly is a lot for one person to take in. That's a lot of alcohol for one person. Yeah, exactly. And the ban helped lower that number to three gallons per year. Today, that number is about 2.3 gallons, which can still be a lot for the body to handle. Therefore, to answer your question regarding if this literature belongs in the literary canon, Yes, it does belong in the literary canon, as alcohol is a huge problem for society, and many people would want to read this piece of writing 100 years from now. Thanks, Chelsea, for this talk. Now I have a bit more knowledge on alcohol, and you helped convince me to read this poem after we're done here. Anytime, Snoop Dogg. Thanks for being here. I'm actually glad to hear that you want to now read the poem, because I would like my friends listening to the podcast also read the poem. Have a great day.